If you're not a fan of Lego minifigures, well then today, you're in the wrong place. I would have left a long time ago, but I'm bolted to the floor. <laughs> Hello all, I'm Josh, this is Josh Builds Stuff, and no, the Stormtrooper is not actually bolted to the floor. That was kind of a far-reaching reference to a Muppet Vision 3D line, which is an attraction in Disney's Hollywood Studios. You know, Statler and Waldorf, the two old man Muppets, one's like, we can't leave, we're bolted to the floor, oh, ha, 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 ha. I love those two Muppets. But today we are not talking Muppets, or Walt Disney World, unfortunately. Today we are talking Lego. Again, specifically Lego minifigures, specifically the Lego minifigures that come in these kind of interesting blister packs, I think they're called. I picked up three of these things the last time I was at the Lego store. One from Lego Batman, one from Marvel, or I guess Lego Spider-Man, and one from Monkey Kid. You know what the most interesting thing about these packs is to me, though, is that I don't think that LEGO sells these in regular retail stores like Targets or Walmarts. The only place I've ever seen these is at the LEGO store itself, and so they kind of just fall off my radar. I also think these are maybe a newer way that LEGO packs uh, basically minifigure and accessory packs, but honestly I dig them. The figures are cool, they're a decent price, and I think I'll probably pick up more of them if LEGO keeps doing some in this same format. First we've got Batman and a couple of Batman villains. We've got the Penguin and the Harlequin, both with a couple of accessories that fit very well for their characters. The name for this Batman accessory pack is Batman vs. the Penguin and Harley Quinn. A nice concise name. This one is 15 bucks and has 63 pieces. Batman here, at least according to Brickset, I think parts of him are unique to this set. At least his torso and his legs. From what I can find, correct me if I'm wrong. Harley's cool, she's got a big old hammer. The Penguin's fun, he's got his classic uh, rubber ducky looking ride on vehicle, which is strapped full of dynamite. There's also a bunch of accessory dynamite in this set, as well as some other accessories like some little batarangs. But the accessory dynamite is surprising to me here, because I thought LEGO just canceled the set, which had dynamite in it because it had dynamite in it. Maybe I'm misremembering my facts, or maybe I just get all my news from uh, social media and I don't actually know what a fact is anymore at this point. This set also comes with a couple of little Lego safes which are full of some little Lego cash and can I soapbox really quickly for a minute here? This build technique of sticking this wheel on top of this little safe's lid, uh, I think that should be an illegal technique. I know Lego does it in some of their official sets, but getting a single studded piece to fit cleanly in between those four other studs, I know technically it stays there. But if you think about it, a little kid is not able to do that very well and you couldn't really use that in a structurally important piece of a build because that's obviously not going to stay together very well. That's just my two cents. It's always felt a little off to me when LEGO does that, but that's all I'll say about that. Next up is Monkey Kid's RC Race. This set was 13 bucks, has 57 pieces, and something exciting here, this is the first Monkey Kid set that I own. And that worries me a bit because I was looking up stuff about this set and then I was looking at other Monkey Kid sets and there are a lot of them at this point. And they're big sets and they look very cool and that would be a very expensive new theme to get into. So for now, I'm holding off. But I, I do think this set and all of the Monkey Kid sets do look very cool. This set almost serves as a nice little introduction to the Monkey Kid theme for a novice like myself because we get the Monkey Kid himself. We get May, who I think is the Monkey Kid's friend, and we get Bob, who I guess is one of the bad guys. There's like a bunch of bull clones here. There's a lot going on with this series. I may actually look it up more after this. But you can actually make a little story out of this little 60-piece set because Bob and Monkey Kid here are racing RC cars and those RC cars are representative of uh, other large actual vehicles that are featured in the Monkey Kid, I assume, TV series, but definitely in some Monkey Kid Lego sets. The little bull car here I believe is supposed to represent a tiny version of the Iron Bull tank and uh, the Monkey Kid's car here that's supposed to represent I believe Monkey Kid's Cloud Roadster, at least that's what I can kind of glean by the kind of tiny details that are included on these cars. But if you're a fan of the Monkey Kid series or the Monkey Kid theme in LEGO sets, then let me know why in the comments down below. Let me know if that's a series worth getting into, maybe I will look more into it. This last set has my favorite figures out of the bunch. This is Spider-Man vs. Venom and Iron Venom. Again, a very descriptive title. This set was 15 bucks, and this one has 63 pieces. The title of this set leaves out the one minifigure, which was the reason for me buying all of these minifigure packs, and that is the Pig Venom character guy here. His official name is Pork Rind, or if I'm emphasizing syllables, Pork Grind, but if you say it quickly, it sounds like Pork Rind. Very clever. 
We get other figures here. We get Spider-Man. I've got a bunch of him. Venom, regular old Venom here. I've got a bunch of him as well. The other cool dude included in this set is the Iron Venom figure. We've seen one other Iron Venom in a Lego set, but this one has a different helmet. Something interesting about this Iron Venom figure is that the minifigure head includes a regular old Tony Stark head, which is Cool, surprising. I was expecting just, I don't know, a blank head, maybe a Venom head under there, but uh, that's a cool figure and a cool concept overall, this idea of like an Iron Man merged with a Venom character. It's cool, but that, like I said, is not the reason why I bought this set or any of these sets. It's because I wanted a minifigure of a Spider-Man Venom character, but with um, a pig head instead. He's got a little hot dog. Uh, it's kind of built in irony there, I get it. A pig eating a hot dog, okay. Uh, as I'm saying all this out loud, I'm starting to rethink a lot of my life decisions. But no, I'm choosing to be excited about this figure and I like the things that I like and you can't stop me from liking those things. And in this case, I like a minifigure of a Venom character from Spider-Man who has a head that looks like a pig's head. We got a different version of a spider pig minifigure or like a porky spider minifigure. I'm not sure the official terms and names. We got a different version of one of these spider pig figures in an earlier set, but I do not have that set. But I think that Lego wanted to get a little more use out of that pig headed mold that they have. And so they just use the same mold. But in this case, we got a venom paint job instead of a traditional Spider-Man look. The accessory build in this pack is a little Venom colored buggy. I think that's a nice compliment because Spider-Man got a buggy sometime earlier this year. So that's fun to have as well. So overall, I'm excited to own this little pig headed figure in that that uh, sounds kind of like I'm insulting him when I say it that way, but uh, he's he's a villain, he can take it. I'm excited to own this little figure. I like all of these little minifigure accessory packs. I think for the price, they're decent. I don't know if you would think that these are worth, I don't know, 13 to $15 a piece, but I mean, roughly a lot of minifigures would go for about five bucks a piece anyway, so I think the prices for these are reasonable. It's also a fun way to get some minifigures that you maybe wouldn't buy otherwise without having to buy a big expensive set. I can get Batman and Monkey Kid sets, which I, like I said, I don't normally buy those. So let me know what you think about these cool little minifigure and accessory packs. Which minifigure out of this bunch is your favorite? I've already told you mine. And let me know if you think I should add some additional themes to my usual buying decisions like Batman or Monkey Kid sets. I have a feeling I know what you're going to say to that, and I'll just tell you now that I'm thinking about it. But as always, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.